solar panel up here now. What I'm gonna do is attach a third 100 watt solar panel to the roof. Um, it says on the back panel that it's the exact same model, but it's slightly different than the other two that I have up there. So we're gonna see if this works. Um, they're all three by Renergy, and they're all listed in the exact same model. Um, this one has these blue things in the corner, and those ones are nicely cut, and the solar panels themselves are straight across, and this one's kind of goes up and has like a nuclear thing in the middle of it, kind of just, but yeah, we're gonna see if this works here. I'm gonna mount this guy right there boom and we're gonna hook it up to the jackery explorer 1000 the old one not the new one we're gonna see if this works supposedly from hobo tech as long as the voltage is the same you can hook up as many solar panels as you want to the jackery but it's only gonna accept 200 watts max solar so i don't know we'll see well this is supposed to be the setup that i was gonna do right here just have the solar panel sitting right like that and then i got these magnets i was gonna mount into the bottom here they're like 25 pound pool and i was gonna mount one i got six of them so the whole way across the back and then it was gonna be mounted up there and mounted up there on the metal itself but we're already running into our first problem here of course uh the store that i went to Never really has the right brackets that you ever need. And I had the one of what I actually needed, so um, to make it uniform, I just went with two of, uh, you know, one that uh, wouldn't work and I'm gonna have to drill my own holes for. So we'll see how this works. Getting these magnets mounted on here because I'm gonna mount half the side with magnets. Uh, a little bit further to go. You tighten all these guys down right here. Okay, all mounted. All six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six. So each six have 25 pounds of pool each. So, you know, that should be enough. Total, what, 150 pounds of pool? 25, 25, 25, 25, that's a dollar. That's 25, that's 25, and that's 50 cents. All right. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta mount these guys up on here like this. Top. Solar panel side. Yep. Just mount them in there, throw them through. <laughs> I'm taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, okay. bitch, you ain't seen anything Lines up I'm just gonna cut those out Starting right. to come together Get some pads up here I'm bolted One side of my solar panel well, not the solar panel, the uh, roof rack, the rail. And I gotta detach those wires back there, take off the dual connection, and add on the track. So, feed it back to that. And then set down the solar panel and bolt it into the back. And we should be good. It's starting to get a little dark out right now. <laughs> I'm still working on this. I just drew up two holes in here, got the bracket going on there, magnet, 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 every one of those, 25 pounds, and I got one bolt in there, I got to drill that one hole, and then I am good to go, and then once I take the tools down, I just got to clean up some of these metal shavings, and it should work, I already plugged it in, and it seems to be working, I'll test it tomorrow morning, I think it's going to work out pretty well. First thing in the morning, I'm getting 42 watts input right now, and it doesn't really seem like a 42 watt day yet. So, this is on the three panels, so yeah, it's definitely helping. It's really, really helping. All right, we're up here in the morning. That's what it looks like. Now, I'm still having an issue right now with that maggot sticking up. It's not down, but then all of those are down. So what I'm gonna have to do is just get a little 
smaller magnet for that one and that one over there and uh it'll level it out and we should be good but other than that everything seems to be working later on in the day i'll show the uh um kind of like full power like whenever sun's out okay right now i don't know if you can see it's taking in like 98 to 100 watts and that's awesome because it would never usually do that in sun like this I mean, yeah, the sun is above us right now, but it's really, really cloudy. That third panel is really helping. And just to double check, it's not getting hot anywhere. I don't, yeah, everything seems fine. So it's charging this guy up really quick. So three solar panels will work. I think four solar panels will work. I don't know, Hobotech said that you can run as many solar panels as you want as long as the voltage stays the same um you just gotta make sure it's you know ran the proper way but yeah look at that 100 watts right now it's not even a sunny day so this will peak out at 200 watts taken in so hopefully we'll see in another video that i might be uh you know getting closer to that 200 watt amount on an actual sunny day okay so Seems to be working a lot better now. It's mounted on here. What I ended up doing was just loosening this up, loosening this up on the outsides because it's got a little concaveness to it. So you can't mount this completely flat against here. So gonna make these ones a little bit longer, a little shorter, a little shorter and not short or yeah, whatever. Getting like over 80 Watts. Today, there's no sun out. So here I'm on a, it's a sunny day outside, but it's not like overly sunny. Not putting out like that much solar, um, but it's still putting out 121 watts. And I'm obviously using about 126, 129 watts, but I'm charging my e-bike battery, which is awesome. And it's at 98%, so it's really not gonna deplete it as long as I'm taking in all that power, which is really, really, really cool. Um, I mean, this is a 620 watt hour battery um, so, I mean, the fact that I can literally just keep on charging as long as I have sun outside and it's not going to deplete it is awesome. Really, really freaking cool. Hey guys, this is Matt again. I'm just, uh, doing kind of like a two week follow up, um, uh, part of this segment here. So, um, yeah, two week review on actually having that third solar panel, third 100 watt solar panel on the roof with my Jackery Explorer 1000, the original one, not the new pro version. So um, yeah, as long as uh, all the voltage lines up, you know, you can put as many solar panels on there as you want, but this thing's only gonna tap out at 200 watts capability being taken in. So that third solar panel, it's just gonna really, really help. Like right now, there's hardly any sun outside and it's really obviously starting to become fall right now. And um, that's uh, where the third solar panel is going to come into play. So yeah, I'm obviously not going to get that whole 200 watts of solar, um, you know, or 300 watts of solar is what I really actually should get. But um, you really don't get those with the um, Renergy solar panels. But um, as of right now, what you're going to see, so there's hardly any sun outside, but I am still getting, um, I mean, like as of right now, it's like six, six seven, eight watts, something like that, because it's just, you know, clouded over but my Jackery's at 91%. It's still using the exact same amount of power, you know, for my fridge, you know, like on and off about, you know, 35, 40 watts for the fridge, you know, whenever it kicks on, but it's not on all the time, but you know, like I'll go back home at the very end of the day, I'll put my vehicle underneath the carport. So it's not getting any sun at all. And that's around like six o'clock, something like that from six o'clock until I, you know, move the vehicle again first thing in the morning that's you know about 9 a.m um it's usually back down to about like 85 anywhere from like 75 to 85 percent um you know just from using you know that um you know for the fridge but then it, it also depends on how hot it is outside and all that too so uh whenever it gets real cold outside it really doesn't use that much 
um, you know, for the battery. Um, but again, like I said, that's, um, you know, with the sun being cut off at 6 p.m. basically, or not even 6 p.m., like like 5.15 p.m. And then, um, you know, it's pulling back out of the carport at like 9 a.m. So yeah, it's uh, really just giving it a few hours of sunlight right there. If it is under um, the sun all day long, it'll just max out at 100% and sit there and just like, you know, literally just trickle charge back into it, use all my stuff and it's, it's fine to go. But yeah, I just wanted to say this is <laughs> working very well. And, um, you know, for anybody that wants to do the same thing that I did, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. As long as you have room on your roof up there, definitely go through with it if you have the money to. Um, but, uh, it just helps power that Jackery up just a little bit more till next time. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.